Moteur de la question, M. Gallagher. Iceland and the Faroe Islands have been fishing mackerel uh, indiscriminately for the last uh, number of years. Uh, Iceland has unilaterally increased their share of the mackerel catches from 1% in 2006 to 23% in 2013 in waters where there are straddling stocks. While the Faroe Islands have increased their share of mackerel from 4.6% in 2009 to 23.9% uh, in 2013, again in an area, the same area uh, where we have straddling stocks. Yesterday evening in London, after uh, many meetings, an agreement was finally signed between the European Union, Norway and the Faroe Islands concerning the sharing of mackerel in the North East Atlantic. This arrangement will be in place for some five years. Iceland is not a party to this agreement, having withdrawn from the talks and establishing uh, their own unilateral quota for 2014. The total allowable catch as a result of yesterday's meeting is 1.2 million tonnes for this coming year, which reflects a recommendation by ISIS to increase the overall tax. From an Irish perspective, of course, I'm very pleased that the agreement is good news for my country and for my constituency. Ireland's mackerel quota will increase from 57,000 tonnes to 105,000 tonnes and to an industry that is worth 125 million euro and that will increase substantially, obviously, this year. Uh, this represents a 60% increase in the provisional quota issued at the start of the year. And the long term... This is worrying that the Faroe Islands have received a share of 12.6% as a result of yesterday's agreement. This share is totally unjustified and must not result in long-term losses for the European sector and indeed for the sector uh, in my own country. While I welcome the Commissioner, uh, I must say that Commissioner Dominaki must take full responsibility for this. Her handling of the entire situation and I'll be very uh, reasonable uh, and say, to say the least, disappointing. Her failure to be present here today speaks volume for the regard that the Commissioner has for this Parliament and in particular uh, the Fisheries Committee. Uh, the Commissioner was prepared to do a deal at any price, to do a deal at any price, and has shown her hand publicly all the time to give 11.9 and over 12 per cent. Not good enough. Not good enough that the Commissioner had the set of tools required to introduce sanctions against these countries when the majority, 98% of this House, uh, voted in favour of those sanctions. But we must be very grateful to Norway. It is only due to the fact that Norway stood firm and resisted her efforts to sell out the European uh, fishing industry. A long-term solution is desirable for the sustainability of the mackerel stocks for the socio-economic interests of the fishing and the processing sectors. Regrettably, it appears that this task will now fall on the new Commission uh, and hopefully they would and the new Commissioner will look after the interests of the European sector. Uh, for example, both Iceland and the Faroe Islands were previously responsible for the overfishing of blue whiting uh, over a number of years and of course that resulted in the collapse of the stock. I hope that the same doesn't happen uh, to the mackerel stock. The case of blue whiting shows what can happen when, uh, if no action is taken. It's disappointing that the, uh, Iceland has once again refused to cooperate with the other coastal states. And as such, I firmly believe that trade sanctions must now come back onto the table. My report was passed by this House, as I said, by overwhelming majority. Before the summer recess, uh, President, the Commissioner sat at our committee looked us, eyeballed us and told us that she would immediately set and train the necessary measures to introduce sanctions. What did she do? Absolutely nothing. But it was no surprise to me that she reneged on her word and went on to pursue a strategy uh, behind the backs of Norway against the best interests of the European industry. And of course, she has responsibility for Europe. I have no doubt that if she had imposed those sanctions against Ireland, uh, Iceland last year, that we wouldn't be in the position that we're in today, whereby Iceland once again refuses to cooperate with other coastal states. 
In May 2013, the Commission used this instrument against the Faroe Islands due to their overfishing of anglo scandia uh, herring, also in the North Atlantic. So now, in conclusion, uh, President, it is imperative that the Commission put in place sanction measures against Iceland with immediate effect. Thank you. Merci, Monsieur Gallagher. Monsieur Lewandowski, au nom de la Commission. <coughs> I take the seabus conservation as the first, uh, first issue. Uh, thank you for raising the question to the Commission. Uh, we are discussing uh, with the Parliament the issue of seabus conservation.